Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this NFL prediction segment, I'm going to be giving you my picks and analysis for week 17 of the 2014-15 NFL season. Now in the first game, we got two juggernauts going at it. Atlanta is at home versus Carolina. And this, I believe for all intents and purposes, is for the NFC South Division title. And Atlanta is at home. They've looked, they played very well. I, I feel in recent weeks they may not have won all those games. They're 5-0 and in the division this season as far as games against the division opponents. And Carolina, on the other hand, has also played very well in stealth-like manner. They have three consecutive wins. Maybe their backup quarterback has a little something to do with that, I'm thinking. However, Atlanta being at home, they played New Orleans on the road exceptionally well uh, last week and, and really, I felt, I mean, annihilating them. I was very surprised at that and I think Atlanta takes this one. I'm going to take the Falcons at home. Now the next game, Baltimore is at home. I'm going to take them over the Cleveland Browns. Now Baltimore still has an outside shot to get in into the playoffs or maybe a little more than an outside shot. Uh, the ravenous defense may no longer be there. Cleveland, on the other hand, they've lost their last two. Johnny Menzel, I guess they just want him to be the quarterback for their future and they want to rationalize it so they're going to play him and it doesn't matter if he falters or if he's lackluster. They just they made a decision and I guess they're trying to build something for next year. So. Cleveland has to go on the road against Baltimore, who is still in contention for a playoff spot, and I just don't think this is a good game for them. I'm going to take the Ravens at home. Next game, I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys on the road over the Washington Redskins. Dallas is 7-0 and on the road this season. As most of you know, they clinched the NFC East title this past week, and I look at them, and I think they're, they're going to go in. They're not going to be complacent. They'll be very disciplined. They they still, I, I believe, have a chance to maybe increase their positioning as far as the playoffs go and as far as seeding. And right now, they've uh, the number two rushing team in the NFL. They have also have a very explosive offense, over 28 points per game right now. I really do believe they could be a legitimate Super Bowl threat. Uh, a lot of people are skeptical and cynical about this because of years past. I think Dallas is a little bit different this season. I could see them going to the NFC title game, actually, perhaps against the Seahawks if it works out, if they can actually meet meet up that way based on whatever happens with the playoff seedings. Anyway, I'm going to take them on the road to beat Washington. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Indianapolis Colts to win on the road over the Tennessee Titans. Now. Indianapolis doesn't want to go into the playoffs losing two consecutive. I know they got their playoff position wrapped up or whatever. Uh, Tennessee, I mean, they could get the number one draft pick if they lose. I don't think they're going to deliberately try to lose. But, I mean, that's the only thing they really got going for them at this point. They are at home. They may try to make a good game out of this. But Indianapolis, I think they, they want to at least go in the playoffs with a win and on a winning note. If they lose this game, it'll be two consecutive losses going into the postseason, and I really don't think that that's very good for a team to, as far as entering the playoffs. I don't care who you lose to or what the circumstances were prior to uh, making the post, going into the postseason. So I do like the Colts to win on the road. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Houston Texans at home to defeat the Jacksonville Jaguars now. This game really doesn't need a, a really abundance of analysis. I mean, Houston right now, they have a very uh, remote chance of getting in the postseason. They have Mr. Versatility, as you know, J.J. Watt, who's a viable MVP candidate. Right now, uh, Texans, they played very well last week against Baltimore. They looked like a team that's really trying to get in the playoffs right now. And they are at home. Jacksonville is two and six in the last eight versus Houston. They're two and two in the last uh, in the last four though actually. They've been competitive with them in recent uh, the past couple seasons or so. But Jacksonville doesn't know how to put any points on the board. They're th number thirty in total offense and I don't 
their scoring offense is obviously lamentable. They really, right now, they're, um, they're a team that's got to look at next season. And Jacksonville has lost eight consecutive on the road, dating back to last season. And I don't see them winning this one on the road. Take Houston. I'm going to go with them to win this one at home. Now the next game. I'm going to take the San Diego Chargers on the road to defeat Kansas City. Now, I believe Kansas City has an outside shot of making the postseason. Kansas City's number two, and uh, as far as passing yards allowed per game, now, and San Diego is one of the better passing teams in the league with Phillip Rivers. However, the Chargers lost to Kansas City earlier this season. I don't see them getting swept by the Chiefs this season. Can San Diego, we look at uh, there's retribution to be met in this game. I believe San Diego will win this game, and I'm going to pick the Chargers to win on the road. Now the next game, I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins at home over the New York Jets. Uh, Miami, I'm sure they remember all too well that the Jets defeated them in the final game last season in Week 17, and that was at Miami. I don't think that history is going to repeat itself. Miami's 5-0 and versus teams under 500 this season. Now, the Jets, if they can maybe try to dominate the time of possession, control the clock, they might have a shot. They're number three and rush, number third rushing team in the NFL. And they play the Dolphins exceptionally well earlier this season. However, Miami wants to really, uh, I, I think they want to avenge what happened last season. And... I, I do see them winning uh, this game. I think they'll be up for this. And the Jets seem to play well against their division opponents for some reason, despite their abysmal record this season. But I still I like Miami to win this at home. Now the next game. I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings uh, to win this one. Minnesota could be very dangerous and, and deadly next season. They have really... I mean, they have played very well the second half of the season. Now, Minnesota's 0-5 versus division opponents this season. That's granted. Now, Chicago, on the other hand, they defeated Minnesota 21-13 the last time they played. That was at Chicago. Chicago has lost 7 of 9. They've also lost 4 consecutive. They're just kind of, they're faltering right now to say the least. And Minnesota, despite not winning a divisional game, I do like the way they, they've been playing in recent weeks compared to Chicago. They're at home. They want to go out on a high note for the fans. And I, I like Minnesota to emerge victorious. Now, next game. I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills on the road to defeat the New England Patriots. The Buffalo Bills, okay on paper, are, are obviously nowhere near the caliber of the Patriots. But the Patriots have wrapped up the number one spot for, for the AFC, and they've clinched home field throughout the AFC playoffs. Now, Buffalo, uh, also, if they were to win this game, they would finish 9-7. and seven. So there's impetus and incentive for them to win. Uh, Buffalo is number three as far as passing yards allowed per game. And we look at the, the Patriots, I don't even know if Tom Brady's going to, is he even going to barely play a quarter. They're probably going to play their starters for one or two quarters, and that's going to be probably be it. Buffalo will probably have at least most of their starters out for, the, for most of the game, and I see for the, these reasons Buffalo winning this one. Now the next game, I'm going to take the New York Giants, to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. I know the Giants lost 27 uh, nothing earlier this season to Philadelphia. Philadelphia is out of the playoff picture, so Giants being at home, we talk about the retribution, vengeance thing. The Giants are really going to be in that, um, I guess you could say, that revenge kind of state of mind in this one, and it is at the Meadowlands, and I'm sorry, I'm not Meadowlands, but it's at New Jersey. The Giants Ah, going to be seeking that revenge, and they've played very well the last three weeks, winning their last three games consecutively. Now, the, the Philadelphia Eagles, are they going to have the turnover machine at work with Mark Sanchez, or what's, what's going to, knows what's going to be happening with that? Also, uh, Philadelphia is number one in sacks in the NFL, so if they do uh, put a lot of pressure on Eli, they have a shot in this one. Number one in force fumbles as well, so if the Giants can get Eli some protection, they'll win this game. I believe it'll be enough protection uh, to defeat Philadelphia. So, next game, 
I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints on the road to beat Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, ignominious 0-7 at home this season. They're infallible at one thing as far as um, their, their losing record is perfect at home. They've lost every time. So, And look at the Saints. The Saints are one of those enigmatic teams. You don't know what you're going to get one week to the next. For all intents and purposes, the Saints are out of the playoff picture. However, they, they, I believe they have enough pride to go into this game. Drew Brees is a great quarterback, and I know they haven't played to their potential this season or what have you, but they're more than slightly better than Tampa Bay, and the uh, New Orleans Saints will uh, will win this game, I believe. So, uh, and they're also um, three and four on the road, which is not exactly a robust record, but it's better than the 0 and 7 mark that the Bucks have. So, I'm going to take the Saints to prevail on the road. Next game, I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers, don't be flabbergasted or in a state of shock people, uh, to win this one. They've won 6 of 7, their 7-0 uh, flawless record at home this season. They've averaged 42 points per game at home this season. I mean, that is phenomenal. They're, I mean, at home, they, they pretty much, I feel they could beat anybody at this uh, stage of the game, perhaps uh, with the exception of maybe Seattle. Detroit, on the other hand, uh, I mean, this is the game for the NFC uh, North title. Detroit has number two total defense. They have the uh, NFL leader in, in interceptions on the team, and in Glover Quinn was seven. So there's going to be some, they have their tenacious defense, and they're going to be really, they'll probably give Green Bay all they can handle in this one. They did defeat Green Bay earlier this season at Detroit. But Green Bay, it's one of those revenge games again, and Green Bay would love nothing more but to win this game, win the NFC North title, and avenge the loss the, to the Lions earlier this season. I think they get it done. Next game. I'm going to take the Denver Broncos at home over the Oakland Raiders. Now Denver, uh, really, uh, I don't know what happened to them this past week. Uh, Cincinnati, it's like they came in on a high and they got the job done. Is Eli Manning, I mean, I'm sorry, Peyton Manning, are his skills deteriorating just a little bit? Is he starting to show the age just a tiny bit? Maybe a little bit, but I don't think there's time to hit the panic button right now. Um, if they win, they clinch the number two spot and they get a first round bye. And uh, they, to me, the uh, Denver Broncos have dominated Oakland in recent time. They've won six consecutive uh, versus the Oakland Raiders. I believe they make it seven in a row in this one. Oakland is last in, as far as their, I believe their total offense, number 31 in scoring offense. They can't, they're not going to be able to really move the ball that much. Denver's defense has improved. It didn't look that impressive the last game, but overall, I think Denver's defense is a little bit better than last season. Denver has something to play for. Oakland really doesn't at this point. I'm going to take the Broncos at home. Now, San Francisco, I'm going to actually take them to beat Arizona. Arizona's starting a rookie quarterback in this game. They have to go on the road. Logan Thomas is going to start versus the 49ers. And the 49ers, they will, if they win this game, they finish 8-8, eight and eight, which at least they can kind of look at it like, well, we're mediocre. So they don't want to go out losing uh, this season and finish at 7-9 and nine with a losing record. So there's some incentive and impetus with that. And I see them at this in this particular game, even though San Francisco is not the team that we've seen the previous few seasons or so, they're still good enough, I believe, to beat Arizona at home uh, against a rookie quarterback. Arizona's defense has played well in recent weeks, um, perhaps with the exception of the Seattle game. They may make it competitive, but I like the 49ers to win at home. Now the next game, speaking of Seattle, Seattle, I'm going to take them to win at home over the St. Louis Rams. St. Louis, ba I mean, sorry, Seattle basically controls their own destiny. They, if they win this game, okay, number one, they're number one in total defense, number one scoring defense. And if they win this game, they'll be, uh, they will get the number one spot in the, as far as home field advantage. I saw something on ESPN which kind of looked, I was a little perplexed by it, if I, unless I was reading something wrong. It stated something like if, if Seattle were to win and if the Green Bay-Detroit uh, game didn't end in a tie, they would get home field. Well, if, I, if, if Green Bay and Detroit tied, they both would be 11-4-1. Seattle wins their 
they would be like that would be a half a game up on on both of those teams. So I don't quite understand why that why uh, that's if that scenario panned out why they wouldn't get home field advantage. Maybe someone one of the few people that watch this video can clarify that for me. I don't I don't quite understand. That was a little mind boggling to me. Now anyway, St. Louis they had those two shutout performances and after that they just looked like they kind of fallen apart. They I mean the Giants did everything but dismantle that, that team last week. I mean the Giants won by ten but that but the Giants really to me they really did a number on the Rams, and that was at St. Louis. And now St. Louis going in against a hot Seattle team that's won five consecutive. It is going for home field throughout the playoffs and the, and clinching the division title. It's not going to happen. I like Seattle at home. Last but not least, I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers to defeat the Cincinnati Bengals. Pittsburgh is at home, five and two at home this season. They came back. They had that. A winning a crazy win against the Bengals earlier this season. Didn't they score like 25 points in the fourth quarter? Pittsburgh's four and one in their last five. And where other teams might be making noise like Denver and New England, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers have just kind of almost surreptitiously put together a very good season. Ten and five right now. If they win this one, be 11 and five. Have won would have won five of six. And they go into the, the playoffs play, playing very well. Now, Cincinnati is one of those enigmatic teams. They looked like world beaters this past week against Denver. That was at home. But if Cincinnati is really going to falter, it probably will be on the road. Pittsburgh, I don't see them squandering this opportunity to win the division uh, in front of their home fans. And I, I do like the Pittsburgh Steelers to win this one, uh, to win this one at home. Well, anyway, people. That'll conclude this YouTube uh, NFL prediction segment for Week 17. You know what? I made a mistake. I'm not done yet. Sorry about that. Let me go to my monitor, my computer screen, and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of my predictions for this week. So just hold on momentarily, people. Okay, here we go, people. Atlanta over Carolina, Baltimore over Cleveland, Dallas over Washington, Indianapolis over Tennessee, Houston over Jacksonville, San Diego over Kansas City, Miami over Jets, Minnesota over Chicago, Buffalo over New England, Giants over Philly, Saints over Tampa Bay, Green Bay over Detroit, Denver over Oakland, San Francisco over Arizona, Seattle over St. Louis, and Pittsburgh over Cincinnati. Well, now officially that will conclude this YouTube NFL prediction segment for week 17 of the 2014-15 NFL season. And until next time, people, when I'll be giving you my uh, wild card round picks, stay well.